Hey guys, Tribal Eyes again. Today, I promised all 40 people on my Discord server that I would pull my shit together and bring out yet another video. So, I spent a long ass time brainstorming, weighing possibilities, doing in-depth scientific research, if you want to call it that. I was trying to figure out what you guys would be most interested in watching so I could get a nice number of views. Cut here, it's worth pointing out now that when I say plural viewers or guys, I'm talking about my one viewer and his 40 brain cells. Shout out to you by the way, dude. And after a long two minutes or so, I figured I'd do what I'm best at doing and I figured that I would be an asshole. Now, by no means am I creating this video with the intent of turning you, my lovely viewer, into an asshole. But that said, I'm making this video to inform you of what makes an asshole, so that you know if you're already an asshole. But don't worry, friendly viewer, because I too am guilty of many of these things, and I am what many would call a grade A number one asshole. So, let's get right into it. Here are 10 reasons why you're an asshole in World of Warcraft. So, first off on the list, we're going to start with something quite simple. Do you remember... When it was like Do you remember when you were levelling a character that one time, and you were in a contested territory? Perhaps Hillsbrad Foothills, maybe Ashenvale, Stranglethorn Vale, you get the gist. Do you remember seeing that guy on low health after facing off against a rare elite, or maybe he's just survived a big pack of mobs? Well. If you were the person who would finish him off for a few honor points, or generally for a good old laugh, then you pass this portion of the test and you can join me in fellow assholery. In fact, bonus points if you would do this to lobbies when you're max level, out in the open area for whatever reason. Because I most certainly do that too on a, on a daily basis. It's even better when they're AFK actually. Fuck it, triple points if you camp them. I'm feeling quite generous. I wasn't feeling generous back then though. Next, we're going to skip past your levelling journey, or your pastime of murdering lobbies, and we're going to hop straight into dungeons, because we need to gear up before that big raid or before that battleground sesh. Assuming, of course, it's before the patch, where Blizzard normalised item levels and made battlegrounds truly skill-orientated, if you want to call it that. Do you remember going into your dungeons, and perhaps you had a freshly dinged tank in your group, or a tank who just seem to be completely numb in the head, moving at the speed of that bus that I always get stuck driving behind? Well, if you were the guy who'd take matters into their own hands, and you'd ruffle stomp ahead of that tank, even if you didn't die, you're an asshole just like I. In fact, you get bonus points if you caused a wipe afterwards. Now, speaking of wipes, fact time real quick. If you're bored leveling a hunter or a warlock, and you get queued into Normregan or a dungeon similar to Normregan, summon your pet and jump down. Because of the pet pathfinding, your pet will pull the entire instance, and your healer will get brutally raped from behind. And so now, you're finally ready to head into Ulduar, or into the Siege of Orgrimmar, or Uldir, basically any raid that was challenging and therefore was not Emerald Nightmare. You're finally in the raid and it happens, your best is light and drops, it's literally making you drool just looking at it. You've been jacking yourself off over to the thought of getting this item for weeks now while looking at Wowhead on those long lonely nights and it's finally dropped. There's just one problem though. You're in a raid group of like-minded individuals who also need that item. It might be a trinket, it might be a ring. An item that everyone's gonna want and everyone's rolling on it. Now you know where I'm going with this don't you? If you happen to be the group leader and therefore you also happen to have Master Looter, you would make up some bullshit reason about DKP or about how you've stuck with the raid group longer than anyone else, about how you deserve this item so much, about how it'll make your DPS. Of course, none of this would be true, it would all be bullshit, but the one fact that would be true is that you are taking this item home today. Now I'm guilty of this as well, but at the end of the day you gotta do what you gotta do, and the human racial says it all. Now, you're progressing through your raid and things start to go south. Maybe you wiped on a boss or maybe you pulled an extra pack of trash, but of course, it wasn't your fault, was it? 
How could it possibly have been your fault? I mean, it's not as if you ran into the group with the debuff or perhaps you used your misdirection to pull an extra pack of trash. Maybe they're just trying to say that somebody ninja pulled the boss or killed the tank. It's unfortunate, but the blame is of course going to land on you, because we both know that you're probably the one responsible. But you don't need to worry. Remember, you're in a raid group, and the likelihood is you're not the only hunter, warlock, or whatever the fuck your class is in that group. So, of course, it wasn't your misdirection that pulled the boss, or it wasn't your spell that pulled the boss, it was Steve. Or maybe it was Jeff. Oh, shit, it I wasn't heard. your fault the fire was in the group, it was that healer who clearly has never been in this raid before. Did you pull the trash by mistake? Nonsense, you were AFK, so it can't have been you. Point is, it was it's never your fault. Because so long as you're in a group with more than five people, you've got somebody else to shift the blame to. Does that make you an asshole? Of course it does. But at least you're not getting G-kicked or losing your raid spot. And you can still talk about how your DKP is infinite and nothing's gonna bring it down like your massive ego and e -peen. If it's anything like mine, that is. Now, I know I promised we'd go into PvP on this video, but in the spirit of things, if you PvP, you're already an asshole. And do you know why? Because if somebody kills you, it wasn't down to their skill, or your lack of skill, and it wasn't down to your inability to interrupt the fucking tree thing running around casting nature shit. It was down to their class, because rogues are broken, monks are broken, death knights are broken, and I fucking hate hunters. If you PvP, and you've ever killed another player, you're an asshole. Unless, of course, you're playing a shaman, in which case, you're not an asshole because shamans are shit and you couldn't kill anybody if you tried. That is, unless you're playing Hearthstone, in which case, well, he's your legendary card back. Move on, have a good day. Now, on a reel with you guys, I've probably spent the past 10 or so days editing this small 7 or so minute video. And whilst that doesn't sound like a big deal, a lot of effort has went into it, a lot more effort than I'd normally put into any video ever. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call it a day and upload this bitch. I really want to record, edit and upload part 2 and believe me I will, but only if we reach say 5 or 6 likes. Because that's all I'm probably going to get and that's probably asking too much anyway. The point is, what's the point in me putting in more effort than I already have, if not to get any views? Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed this half of video. Stay dry.